My name is Craig Perot. I'm the managing partner here at Crave Kitchen and Wine Bar. Um, we've been here about nine years now in downtown Regina. I mean, this building itself, it's 102 years old. It's seen everyone from governor generals to movie stars to MC Hammer, Charlize Theron, you MC name it. MC here. Hammer's been in this building. And he's not who I'm picking for this. I guess probably the, the night that would be most memorable was um, old building and we didn't have it as dialed in as we have it in now. The heat went out and I'm gonna say it was like December 4th. Get a call, Charlize Theron's coming in Cooper 20. And they're literally, you can see your breath everywhere in here. Now it ended up being a great thing that she came in. That was the anchor to keep the rest of the guests. It truly was like a party in your parka. They had a group of 20 around the fireplace. It was freezing, but everyone stayed until like, you know, closing time, which back then was two o'clock. Crazy. It's a, well, I mean, I think, yeah, in our social circles, we talk about who do you want to hang out with? So many, is it authors, musicians, actors, uh, you know, politicians, just famous people. And I think I would choose the blend. He's a little bit obscure to some, but beloved by many. His name's Chuck Klosterman. He's an author who's done everything from, uh, some of his books would be Sex, Drugs, and Cocoa Puffs, Fargo Rock City. Uh, most recently, I Wear the Black Hat, where he looks at sort of perceived villains and non-villains. And he grew up in North Dakota, so I can relate to that. We're almost the same age. He loves basketball. He loves um, tons of music. He wrote for Rolling Stone magazine for years. Uh, and he just has this real like, existential way of looking at things and posing questions. And you can really hear the conversation come out of him. He wants to think differently, but truly understand what's going on in pop culture. Um, I love interviewing people or being around people. So that's part of what his job is, is really doing in-depth looks at people's careers or certain times in their life. I think that, you know, meeting a guy like Klosterman um, would be just that. He's a guy, like I said, re I relate to his area of where he grew up, and then he's been transplanted to like Ohio and now New York City. But for him, it's about access. He wants to access ideas and people, and I, that's my favorite thing, even about Crave, is that we get to meet businesses and individuals that are willing to share what's going on in their life. And so as an author, he's skilled at doing that, I think it would be a great conversation.